Ooh, yo, um, like I was saying earlier, the list not that long this week. The not a busy, busy, busy week in music, but but salute to everybody out here doing hey, it. Man, yeah, still, man. not every week has to be a busy week, man. Hey, it was like it was, people got life to live. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey, it was good for me, yo. Made it made it an easy easier <laughs> job. You know what I'm saying. Um, there's something major that's going on in these this media internet streets right now. Can you now. play two C? Hmm. Can you play two C? Tusi. You should intro it by placing playing Tusi. Tusi. Now which Tusi track? Just play Tusi and you'll see it pop up. Or you should put it under YouTube. Right. Tusi. Love hurts. No, no, no. You gotta play it on the Insta- uh, YouTube. Sorry. Let's see. Tusi. Let's see what got you got. Go to one of your me. million tabs. The YouTube. What Tusi got? She doesn't have it up there. No. Oh. What are you looking for? Oh, he's looking You're for not gonna comment. like it. That's why I didn't want to tell why? you. Why? Who I smoke? Oh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not about. It's not about. I don't like uh, it. I just don't condone it. Like you know, what I'm saying. I'm not gonna. Promote oh, it's young and it. Ace. Yeah, yeah. It's young and oh, it's I'm not bad, gonna promote it. Yeah, this is the yo. You see the thing about this? This is what I was talking about the other week. There's a a criminal defense lawyer. The yeah, man does a, reaction videos. He did a reaction yeah, video yeah, to I this know, song. Yeah. So let's 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 get into this. Um, I don't know why. Why are we well, playing this? Hold on, 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 hold on. I'm not trying to smoke on no Rory or Mall Pack. Oh, you here we go. Hey, man. Well, okay, so let's introduce right the now. segment. Let's introduce the segment. <laughs> the Joe Button podcast. They're not in turmoil. Joe Button. Because I was gonna say they broke up, and people are trying to say that they broke up. They didn't break up. The man fired them. The man fired and two of them. The Joe Button podcast will be probably on next week. If not on Patreon, on it's on regular. Patreon. It's on Patreon right now. That episode right now, you can hear it on. He took it off of YouTube or whatever. He just took it down, put yeah. it on his Patreon. Go support the thing. All our content creators, we gotta support each other. So go support the thing. Pay the thing to listen to it because God damn, it was good. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you know, people woke up this morning to like, like shocking news. You know what I'm saying? Because they they do their episode like how we do night before type of thing. You know what I'm saying? And I guess in the episode. When it was originally posted, like God said, people heard the firing. So did my boy kick him off set? No, no, no. no. He, he never there. showed up. So God. Um, oh, they did another. They did another strike. They went back on strike allegedly. Oh. Yeah. They went back on strike and said we're not coming in. See, and now that makes more sense. The man said, context. "Yo, you're breaching your contract, fam." Rory, you are in breach of your contract, and from this point forward. You are fired. A little context there. Okay, okay. So what ended up happening is they went on a vacation after they came back together. You know what I mean? The, there was a little bit of issues. Everybody was wondering if they had broken up. They came back together after about six weeks. It sounded like they're in a flipping relationship, like boyfriend-girlfriend thing. Well, it gets a, yeah, that's what it is when it's a partnership like that. I know, but this is... This is but yeah, go back. They were on vacation. So, so it's, <laughs> <laughs> right? I know, Fire that, that sounds funny. So so right 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 Fire Pause, pause, pause. pause, pause. You know what I mean? right? It's just one of those like, huh? Okay. <laughs> so... When that when they came back, um, you know, when Rory and Maul came back to the podcast, people kind of saw the tension. You know what I'm saying? Plus people were like, quick. you know, the, Joe did the one episode when they first came back, you know, explaining and like them explaining why they even left in the first place. And then they did, they did an episode after that. And it looked, it didn't look as, the chemistry wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? They went on a vacay. And then when they all came back, right? Joe wanted them to come down to do the regular episode Tuesday night, and he couldn't hear. He didn't hear from them, so he went to tape. What if they got forced quarantine? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Could have called. Probably not. You know I'm what I'm saying? Playing. I, I seen it happening, man. The writing was on the wall from the first episode. I told you this. Like, you could. There's no way. Again, I I, I like to put in as you two, even though you guys, I feel like you guys have a way better relationship, but. Sure. There's no way you could be her could be talking to you, and you tell him, so what about like just respecting shit like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. On air, whatever. It just as soon as he just Joe brought up that Jay Z situation and he told Ma, so what? Like, so what about respect? So what about this? It's business. It wasn't gonna work, fam. Like, I just knew. Like, I, I'm surprised it happened so quick. 
But I knew this wasn't gonna last. Not them two being on like definitely not Ma. And I knew mm. Rory was just like, yeah, he was on his way out, fam. Yeah, and the thing is, there's there was talks that weren't brought up before because they're you know they were saying it was about the friendship and like the issues with the friendship. Mm-hmm. An academic has seen me in action. True. That's what the, the bless best, you. That's what the best part about it was to me is that he knows what it's like doing business with you. <laughs> and salute to academics. I'm gonna call Factor. him Axtradamus. <laughs> Facto. Okay. Because he's like, yo, them niggas is lawyering up. It's a money issue. Da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? He kept on going in on them on his streams, on his Twitch streams, week after week, smoking a Rory pack, smoking a mall pack. You know what I'm saying? That's why this nigga wanted me to play that shit. I'm not trying to smoke on them no packs of them niggas. Not Ma. I'm cool. I'm cool with Ma. You know what I'm saying? Because I liked I liked the, the chemistry that them I niggas had. Marijuana over here. <laughs> I'm cool with Ma. You know what I'm saying? But Shout like, Ma. <laughs> he might not be that cool with them niggas neither because after everything was exposed, you know what I'm saying? They're making it seem like, yo, he ain't got that much relationship to Rockefeller and all the fucking shit that came out. The whole bo- basis of it is the nigga fired him, right? I guess I bring it up to, 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 to show like, Joe, I think Joe was right on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that, that he, he has to fucking... Deal with. Deal with as a as 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 as, as a running that network, right? There's enough different pods that are under the Joe Button um um network as well. You know what I'm saying? It, <laughs> fuck. If they don't show up, what all these niggas can't eat no more? You know what I'm saying? All the people who film, all the people who fucking um all for the other podcasts and stuff like that, what, the show can't go on. How many podcasts are those two involved in? One. 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 The whole thing too is just what are you bringing to the show as well because with rory more than anything he felt like academics kept playing back a clip where he he would when charlemagne was on the show uh and he said yo like i'm more talented than andrew schultz Mm. but charlemagne's whole thing was what what do you bring to the table my nigga like not my nigga but like what do you like what do you do to even say that right andrew schultz has a a freaking he's a comedian he has his own podcast all this stuff right Rory doesn't have anything. He doesn't really bring anything to the pod, right? So for him to, like, yes, you've been there, you've been loyal, you've been this, but for you to, co- like, say, okay, well, I want some sort of ownership. I want to see numbers. I want to see certain things. My whole thing is, at a, if it's a friendship, I see where that can get sticky, and I feel like Joe should show him that. But if you're not bringing anything to the motherfucking table, nigga, you've been there for, like, how many years, and, like, you're just potting, my nigga? Like, you haven't done anything else. Like... Like, what has he really done for, like, same thing like Joe said. Okay, if you feel like that, go get an ad back then. Go bring something in here where it's just like, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that these guys could do their own pod? No. Why not? It'll be spicy for the first week or two. But it'll fall off? It, it'll fall off. Top because of people, of sorry, people are going to want to watch, like, the fucking train wreck. But after the train wreck, what are you going to be able to provide? Whereas Joe's been able to deal with the chain wreck for years. This is going to be something I regular. I don't really watch the podcast, right? I don't watch the Joe Button podcast. Not a fan of Joe Button. It's not <laughs> like, there's nothing to do with his podcast or his rapping. I don't know. I'm just not a fan. You know what I mean? Like, I never took time to become a Joe Button fan. Well, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I hear other people, like my boy Josh, and I go, oh, she don't want it. The man's. You don't want me to start talking on how much I got, like how much love he's got for Joe Button. So mm. I'm like, holy fuck, but calm down. But yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So on that, I don't really know the, the, the dynamic of Rory and, and what's the guy's name? Ma. Ma. So I've seen that clip that you told me when they came back, and I thought this shit was like done. But I could see in that episode there, the tension. Mm. And, and, and you're not even an avid watcher. Yeah, I can yeah. see there's tension. You understand what I'm saying? And yeah. then also the way that like Joe Button, because I ended up watching like probably the whole thing. Like, yo, and that's probably my first time watching the Joe Button podcast. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? The one I sent you, right? Yeah, the yeah, one you told yeah, me to watch yeah, it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, all right. I took it in. So it's like, yeah, but you can see the tension amongst the three of them. Yeah. And then Rory even. face all red. Yeah. Well, <laughs> white people can't hide their emotions. Yeah. <laughs> so you understand what I'm saying? But yeah, it was just. It was just, you could see it was awkward. You could see at, at points where it felt like someone's going to jump off the couch and hit somebody. Yeah. That's how I felt. Mm. And I'm not even, like you said, an avid watcher of the show. You understand what I'm saying? You could just see that from a fucking 
from a click, like a um, just a quick lens view. Yeah, you know just what I'm like saying? peeping in, looking into the glass jar, like, oh shit, okay, that's what's going on over there in the fishbowl. Okay, yeah. I see what's going on. I think what people have to learn from this more than anything, um, chemistry one, <laughs> like make sure that your chemistry in any part, any relationship that you do with business, like make sure that, you know, you guys, people have to know their place and they got to know, like, you just have to know the person you're working with. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, if you're working with Joe, understand like how he's going to talk to you, how he's going to deal with you. Understand that if you're going to be going into something long term with somebody like that. Mm. And also to like ownership and stuff like that. Like, no, like, yo, fam, get your shit together even before if, you, if you're going to want to get into those things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, know what you're really getting into if you want to get it businessy and know that that could ruin a relationship yeah. if you have like a friendship in that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Well, fuck, man. Salute to the whole Joe Button podcast. Yeah, Salute to fucking works academics out, too, right? man. And it, well, it ain't. So, it's not going to work out. No, <laughs> like, I'm not saying like for the podcast. I'm just saying hope everything. The, the podcast will still go on. No, I know that. But I'm just saying and everything like just works out for every party involved. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. they go their own separate ways. It's not become a fucking thing where it's like, yo, fuck this nigga. When I see this nigga, I'm going to step in his face. And you know what I mean? Like, Yeah. Well, let's not leave it. You see, there was a point when they did leave, right? And he bought his boys Ish and Ice in um, for the weeks that they were gone. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's right? Like once again, I don't know the show, so no, for like any show. This so, situation. for example, we're, 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 there's, there's me the four you, of us potting. Me and you kick off. Is or me and situation. you kick off with Friday. This is a sticky situation. And we take a hiatus, and we say, "Yo, we're not doing this until Friday." fucking signs that Spotify f- thing that he's been holding on for. And then Friday says, okay, you know what? I'm going to put two other people in because the show still has to continue. I would probably be upset, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm not going to fight and be like, you know what? Fuck. If that's what you want to do, that's what you're going to do. So. Because you're, sorry to cut you, your thing is respect, no? Your yeah. thing is out of respect. It's just out Let's of loyalty. Work out the like, yo, I, we've been doing this from day one, so we should be able to work it out, in my opinion. You understand what I'm saying? Right. That's like, why I always say he's the mall to the situation. But, you know, I could be wrong. Like, some shit, you know, maybe, you know what? There comes a point where sometimes change is good. They could have ran their course. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and maybe that's it nothing. It's, yeah, it's just they ran their course. Like, they're too comfortable with each other. And they crossed over that friend and business line barrier and blurred lines became more blurry Mm -hmm. than they were before. And instead of it being like, like, you know, like a good situation where they all enjoyed the shit, it didn't feel enjoyable no more. So they decided, you know what, like, yeah. And then their chemistry show. But once again, I don't watch their podcast, so I don't know how the show's been going and what builds up to that. But if... It happened with us, and the shit has it. I'd probably, be, I'd be upset, but fuck, what am I gonna do with like? I, I, I just don't see that happening. I don't know. I just don't see that happening. Go work with Six Buzz. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know who that guy is. I don't know that guy. Don't so I, I know Friday. I've known Friday for many a year. You understand know what I'm saying? Mm. Many a year. Mm-hmm. Not like these new guys that be like, "Yo, Crow, hey, yeah. my day one." And you only known the man for less than a year. Yeah. Man, I'm in jail. Right? <laughs> like, it's like, there's nothing wrong with meeting people in jail. Like, you know, because you know, fuck, they're in jail. But still, they could it's still be. One, yeah. It's not your day one. Yeah, yeah, you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. people I consider my day one friends, I've been friends with them for like 20 years, almost 30 years. Like, lifetime yeah. friends. Not, oh, yo, bun that guy. We don't talk no yeah. more. And. You know, like we've been to situation. We might not talk, but you know what? We circle back, and we're still brethren because we have history. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, I understand the show must go on, but I would still figure out. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I I would probably be in my feelings for a minute, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold a grudge. I don't. I wouldn't. I, I, don't, I wouldn't hold a grudge towards the people that come in to fill the spot because they don't have nothing. They're just trying to fill the spot. Mm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They, they can't, they, I don't know. I, and I, in the end of the day, they can never be like, and this is all hypotheticals, obviously. Yeah, of course. They can never be the people like, if like you guys were to be like, yo, I'm out of here and like, I bought like fucking two people in here, right? Mm-hmm. 
it can never be the fucking same. Yeah, it's not the same. You know if you saying? can call it whatever you want, but it's not the same. That's the thing. Then he was saying that in the show. It's not going to be the same shit because he covered. He asked Mar Mar Mar. Mar? I keep getting the man's yeah, name. Yeah. Mar Mar. And, Mar. and he see said the, it. And not to interrupt you. Hold your thought for a quick second. That's the fucking problem because a lot of people be like Mar Mar. M- Mal, like they don't even know the nigga name like that, fam. Yeah. But once again, I don't watch, so that's why I don't know the man like that. Yeah, but, yeah, but you Mal, know Joe. I know. Oh, obviously, I know Joe Button because it's Joe Button. He's fucking Joe Button. You understand what I'm saying? Keep, keep going with what you're saying. He's Joe Button. Yeah. Like fuck, he's a rapper, Slaughterhouse. Like mm-hmm. fuck, he's Joe Button. Like shit, I might not know him like that and be a big fan of him, but I know who the nigga is. Like, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But Rory, <laughs> Mal, sorry, I don't know who you are. But like I said. I wouldn't be upset if the if it's like yeah you're just filling a spot. It's not the same shit. Yeah, you can call us we love hip hop, but it's not PK Herc and Ricky Dread, you know, and guts. Yeah. So yeah. it's not the same. It's not that era of it. It's, yeah, it's not. Yeah. The, it's a different era, exactly. Different it's like era. Ant Viv. They changed yeah. Ant Viv. <laughs> they changed true. Ant Viv. It'd be it'd be like the Bow Wow. Keisha, Shante, Angela Simmons version of 106 in Park, right? right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what right? I'm saying? They no. had their logical yeah. call. Yo, who can we get right now to bring in 106 in Park? Why not bring in Mr. 106 in Park himself? Who? Bow Wow, you're damn right. So, Freddie, who are you looking at, just in case? Ah. I'm not looking at anybody. Not... <laughs> so, hold on. What do you think, Guts? What do you mean? On the, if, if he had to replace us, if we got in the fucking kickoff task and the man filled a <laughs> spot with somebody else, what do you feel about that? With me, it gets stickier because then we got to talk about six years uncut. Mm, that's a whole other show. Okay, but still, nonetheless. It, it becomes stickier because then I have to figure out, which is, anyways, yeah, I would just have to figure out what's going on with six years uncut more than anything because that's. I understand that we love hip hop, but still, like that's gotta go. Like regardless, he could fill in whoever he has to fill in for we love hip hop. Yeah, that is Friday show. Amongst what other people might think, Six Views Uncut is my show. <laughs> so that becomes where the issue is. Do I See. like? And again, what is the issues that we're holding back? That's more the issues too. Like, is it money? Is it respect? Is it? Is there issues? Is, is there um between Six Views Uncut or me and Friday right now? I guess, yeah. No, but, no, no, no. There's no, there's no issues. But you know, man's got to retire. You know, you know. Man's got to retire, what can I say? yo. What can I say? Man's got to we'll retire. Talk about it when the time comes. Man's got to like, retire. He's so fifty. Yeah. You know, we'll talk about it when the time comes. But I, yeah, man, no, but seriously. Left. So okay, so you're but saying I, I can't for, feel a, like. Obviously, I'd feel a way because like I like doing this shit, right? To me, yeah. it's not a job. I don't like editing, but other than that, like, <laughs> like. Yeah, I'm going to be real. But yeah, like other than that, I love coming in, talking with the man them. We're talking about stuff, giving people like cloud or promo or helping artists, artists reaching out to us, telling us like, yo, this gets their day or, you know, shit like that. Obviously, I love doing, but mm. if it comes to it, we're, the connection is not there. You know how I am. I'm a chemistry guy. Yo, yeah, the man, I'm okay. Like if it's not there, then more to me than anything too, it would bug me because yeah. I'm like, I don't want to come in here. Yeah. And then the man them are just like, Yo, what's a thing? Or I'm not feeling what that man's doing. Or mm. Gucci's just feeling like he he's superstar now or whatever. Mm. Like it, it'll just throw me off, and I'll just yeah. be like, nah, it, it it won't feel like we're doing this for what we wanted to do it for. It just feel like every man got an ego, and it's just the ego can't be controlled. Yeah. Well, one of the things, and um, like to wrap this up, I guess, right? With podcasting, it's 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 about camaraderie. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's not easy. To just put podcast here into the into the stratosphere and stuff like that, I'll just get people together and be like, okay, I'm just gonna get one, two people, and then we're gonna do a pod. They have to have some kind of chemistry, some kind of camaraderie. You know what I'm saying? So that the conversation that they're having about whatever topics are interesting to the audience. So you, you don't think they could just put four random people together and make a podcast? Four I mean, ra- totally you random even do it in people. TV. You can't even do it in TV shows. It looks. It looks. I remember look being in. I remember the man cave. Was it? Mm. The BET show when they put like Steve Harvey, some next comedian. I don't even remember who the fuck was on yeah. the show. But well, I'm talking like, about like not like Steve, like the Steve, like people like Steve Harvey and those guys. But, they have ego problems but, because they're already famous. But that's what I'm saying in general. You just can't th- throwing three random people is what Friday said. It's the chemistry. This chemistry that we have here. Yeah, we've, not a lot of people can put that together on a podcast, fam. Yeah, this true. is why there's not a lot, and it's not to diss any other people, but this is why there's not a lot it's of podcasts in Toronto, bro. It's not. Yeah, easy Eagles to do what involved. we're doing. Bro. Eagles do get involved. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Eagles get involved. Point of views are differ. 
and stuff like that. But and consistency, Matt, like mm, that's consistency key, too. Like, I think I think one sorry to like, cut you, Gucci. I think one anything is the man them. Man them don't talk about shit, bro. Let's be real. Sorry to any other uh, sorry to like extend it, but niggas don't talk about nothing, bro. To get four black guys to come in and talk about shit in Toronto and we haven't kicked off or anything, that's yeah. fucking rare. We're mm. Niggas just don't talk. They don't talk about emotions. They don't talk about <coughs> I'm sad. Oh, yo, I feel this and that way. So more than anything, I think that's big not to boost us or pat ourselves on the back that we can show that, yo, four black men can get together and put together a network to put together a platform to do that shit, bro. Like, yeah. that's dope, bro. Oh, oh, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. From 100%. Toronto. 100%. Canadian. Yeah, man them. It's not like, well, excluding Friday. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Excluding but like, Friday. still, Friday's a, you know, it's from he's still Montreal. a Toronto man. I'm but you know import. what I'm saying? He's more Toronto he's than a lot of you guys. He's been 20 import. plus years. Yeah, yeah you know I'm saying? He's still a Toronto man. He's still yeah, a Toronto but man. the thing is, and, and, and once again, his driver's Toronto. license says Toronto. And Facts. It. Facts. Um, <laughs> with the, the whole scenario that we presented here, right? If I had to do it, it's something that. But what I if we had to replace your punk ass? Were you thinking we're not replaceable? Oh, see, yo, yo, we, we have to take rid of this guy. So, you know what? Yeah, let's replace Friday. Let's go get him recruited, fam. Right? Go highlight and then, and then, then let's see how. What, then. I don't want to get I don't want to get mixy. Is it, oh, we'll right, save oh. that for six years uncut. <laughs> no, because, yeah, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? Because, like. <sighs> be real for. I know. For, can I say what you I, think I'm, you're going to say? I'm, I'm, I'm not replaceable. <laughs> I, 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 I gotta, talk I, your shit. Talk your shit. I know what he's going to say. I, I I make the show move, fam. I put the fucking edits <laughs> together. I put the show together. If I'm not here, I don't know if it's going to be able to happen. The audio will be off. I'll tell you that. But... We're not going to be able to. Like, I, I run the audio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. That will get recorded. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, I see what's going on. I can maybe do a one-two with the audio. I can get it right. You know what I'm saying? But then the, the, the post shit, that might be. It, it might is, take a little time. But this is part of the reason, part of maybe why I, I, I champion with Joe, you know what I'm saying? Because I understand the struggles that he goes through, all the different things that he has to pay for, all the different things that like go into making people be able to see something every single day. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm but saying? The stuff that, yeah. They put, we, we, we go through six YouTube clips a day sometimes. You know what I'm saying? No, no, you, you know, you were. Like, I'm, not, I'm never gonna take that for you. You definitely go ham. You should fucking give some of that up, and that's with the building, right? As the team gets uh, bigger, hopefully, you're able to give up the audio, give up the whole putting out the YouTube clips, the Instagram clips. But like, that's why I was like, right, yeah, right now for sure, like you, but, you put in that fucking work. So like, if like there's an audience who are like expecting stuff every day, I say that all to say, right? It's the same. That's not the same dynamic. And I mentioned with Maul before and, and Rory, right? Um, about how like people can't remember Maul and Rory's fucking names because <laughs> everybody's tuning in for Joe. Our dynamic is different. They're not all tuning in for me because even though whatever I started the shit back in the days or whatever, they're not. They tuned in because they seen the dynamic of of me and Herc. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And then that grew, and you know what I'm saying. Other fucking p- podcasts started budding under the network and all the stuff. Started coming on the show, right? Right. Mm. So, and, and here we are. However, the audience is here now. You know what I'm saying? If Mandem have a disagreement, the show still has to go on. It's not going to be the same. We might not, even, I'm, you know, it might not even be called the same. You know what I'm saying? But there's going to be other shows that are under the network that people are fucking looking at under under the We Love Hip Hop network. Yeah, it's a network at the end of the day. Yeah, you it's know what I'm saying? Network, so. And and Joe, same thing. He has the Joe Button Network now. It started as Joe Button Podcast, and now it's the Joe Button Network. You know what I'm saying? He has see the thing is he has this next show with Karen Civil and and, and the next that, home is that girl. The problem? That's part of the problem because the, the shit started growing and them niggas they, they, they I don't think they were ready to grow with the process. No, I'm saying the fact <laughs> that it's, oh Joe buttons this and Joe button that and could be that too. You it think could be that's that too. what the problem it's was? Ego. It could be that you have everything. Yeah, like you, you, under his name, like yeah, right? like it's everything just, is under it's, it's the Joe button podcast with Rory and Mike or whatever. So, well, that's because when Spotify came to him and he said this on the podcast, you know what I'm saying? I know we're going a little long on this, but whatever. He said it on the podcast. When Spotify came to him, they were like, yo, we want you. You know what I'm saying? And they they say, yo, we want, call it a Joe Button podcast. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And them niggas had a problem with it, so he had to put on the, on the, the subtitle. 
with Mor- with Rory, Rory and Ma. Ma. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't give a fuck if, if it's Joe and fucking Johnny and, and fucking Timmy. <laughs> and Joe, Rory, or Ma. As long as fucking Joe. And Park's been there too and Barks don't give a fuck. Park's, Park's not even on camera, fam. You don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, the, that, the engineer the guy was trying yeah. to page the guy in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. engineer. Like, yeah, the show. Other people had to get paid. Yeah. That, that's the guy yeah, in the yeah, background. Yeah, yeah. Right? He's been recording Joe's vocals as a rapper from day one. Okay, yeah. so he, that's Joe's boy, boy. Yeah, he's gonna keep on recording that nigga on microphones, whether the he man goes knows his position. Yeah, he plays it well. That's what I'm saying. You got to know your position sometimes in life. Sometimes that ego thing can get to you, bro. Them niggas Cloud brought is, no value to the table. Cloud is dangerous when you're, on, when you're on a podcast or something and you're bubbling now and people actually know who you are. Be a oh, you're the guy from the podcast. Yeah, whatever. But, but for Cloud Rory, I'm just thinking. General. I'm saying in Rory's thing. Yeah. He could be out there like, yo, people know me now, fam. I, I want a bag now. So what are you doing now? What are you doing with the podcast? What are you doing over there? Why are you doing or in this position? Why are you doing six views on cut? Why are you doing Zay links, my nigga? Why are you doing more shit, my nigga? Like, yo, let me see them paperwork, mind you. <laughs> shit gotta grow, fam. Let me see them YouTube numbers, fam. Walk <laughs> one. What are we really making on the YouTube back end, my oh, G? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga want me to get in a Joe bag. <laughs> But yeah, man, let's no. get off of this shit, man. Salute to Joe Button. Salute to the whole yeah. Joe Button Shout podcast. Shout out all the man. Like I said, I wish them all well. Yeah, I wish yeah, them all man. well, regardless of the, the jokes and all that. <laughs> um, let's go to a break, though, man. I got a tune from a We Love Hip Hop alumni and um, a, f- a special favorite, Frankie Payton. Okay, okay, okay. Bias, you know. New, new tune that just <laughs> dropped. Um, Frankie? What? Ugly Truth? Yo, track's fire. Let me just pull it up here on the Spotify thing here. Yeah? These guys don't know, man. Throw it, throw it, throw it, uh, Herc. Throw it into the truth. Let the people know. They're listening to the listening audience. Uh, Ugly Truth by Frankie Payne. Go download that right now. Spotify, ah, hey. iTunes, find it everywhere. You understand? Yo, go Instagram, reach Frankie Payne. You know what I'm saying? Reach Frankie. You know what I mean? FPA, stand up. 